When we think about geometry, we typically think first about the shapes that are part of it. But really, when we're working with young children, exploring geometric shapes should follow the exploration of lines, points, and positional concepts, which we've done in previous videos. So now it's time to introduce the children to geometric shapes. For this first activity, you'll want to have pictures posted of circles, triangles, and squares, the three simplest shapes. You'll also need some masking tape with which to create circles, triangles, and squares on the floor. Once you've done that, invite the children to move along pathways created by the various shapes, naming each for them. Begin with simple locomotive skills such as creeping on all fours and walking, and then change the skill every time the children complete one pass of all the shapes. Other possible locomotive skills include jogging, jumping, galloping, hopping, and skipping, if the children are developmentally ready to do so. Later, you might assign a different traveling skill for each shape. For example, squares are for walking on, circles are for jogging lightly on, and triangles are for tiptoeing on. When the children are ready for a greater challenge, instead of creating the shapes yourself with masking tape, give each child a jump rope with which to create their own shapes. Once each shape is made, the children follow its path with the locomotive skill of their choice. This next activity continues the exploration of five of the geometric shapes developmentally appropriate for young children to discover. Again, you'll want to have posted pictures or drawings of the shapes, this time including a circle, square, triangle, diamond, and oval. Then, discuss each of the shapes with the children, assigning each its appropriate name. Invite them to replicate each shape with their body or with individual body parts one at a time, once again naming them as you point to them. When the children are comfortable and experience success with this, encourage them to find another way to make each shape. A more challenging alternative is to have the children create the various shapes in pairs. A game of I Spy is always fun for the children. For this one, chant I Spy with my little eye a square circle, triangle, and so on. The children look around the room or playground and then move to whatever they've discovered that's in the shape you called out. It's best if there's more than one possibility that exists. Invite the children to take on the shapes of the chosen objects with their body or body parts. For example, if you spy something rectangular, some children move to your desk and then turn themselves into desk shapes. The following activity offers children a chance to experience geometric shapes in groups of three, making it a cooperative social studies activity as well as a mathematical one. Divide the children into groups of three. Challenge each trio to work as a group to create various geometric shapes, such as a circle, triangle, square, and rectangle, using either their bodies as a whole or their body parts. Invite the children to think of new shapes they can create together. Can they make a diamond? Are uh, there other shapes in the room that they can try to make? Later, you can encourage the children to work first in pairs and then in groups of four. What can they do with four people that they can't do with two? What are the problems they encounter when they work in pairs? Thanks again for watching. If you'd like to have this script and these slides along with bonus material, go to raypika.com and hover your mouse over media in the top banner. See you next time.